if you're getting this invalid partition table error on this Dell Latitude E6530, here's how you fix it. So first thing, press Control Delete. It'll restart. Press F2 to get into the BIOS. Okay, so I'm just going to keep pressing F2 until it starts up. You can see, and we'll get the, all right, entering the setup BIOS. Then what we'll do is there's a few things we want to change. So we're going to go to the boot sequence. We're going to enable UEFI. You could technically stop here and you'll be okay, um, but there are a few other things that you kind of want to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep going. Uh, we'll go to, let's see, is it in here? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, actually, we also want to change the RAID on to AHCI. Okay. Um, hopefully this won't stop my boot that I was doing because I'm installing Windows 11. But usually you want AHCI instead of RAID on since we're not using multiple drives. Um, you can see here, and we're not using this Intel Rapid restore technology. It's supposed to be Intel rapid storage technology, not restore. So interesting that they call it that. Okay. We're going to keep going down. And what we want is where's the secure boot stuff. Is there a separate security? Huh? I don't see it here. Okay. Give me a second. I'll be back if I find it. If not, we'll just continue. Okay. I don't know. I didn't see it. So anyways, we're just going to apply the changes and exit and then it should boot up normally now. So let's see. Just going. If we see the Windows thing start loading, then we should be good to go. All right. Oh, it's still showing this. Oh, that might be because I changed it to AHCI. Okay, actually, what happened is for some reason it changed itself back to Legacy, so I'm going to apply that right after clicking it. Okay, and hopefully it will stay this time. I think that's what happened. All right, I'll be back. All right, let's go ahead and exit this again and see if it boots on its own. It was all set, everything else the same. So hopefully that should be it. Come on, let's see the windows spinning. If it's still not working, then we'll have to redo the windows install. There you go. All right. So there you go. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.